Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Okay, I've got some nostalgia for this game. I played it a hell of a lot back when I was a kid during my later years of primary school, and I kind of sucked dick at it. I never knew what the hell I was doing. I just wanted to go around and fight the enemy or play as the demons in the scenario mode. But now I'm an adult, and I've got this game through GOG, and it's actually still not too bad. While playing this, I still had the issue of not really knowing what exactly I was doing. Now, I get that older games weren't really big on tutorials like modern ones, but at the very least, a direct path to go in to learn everything would have been nice. But as I kept going through it in my short stint for this video, uh, things did start to click and I did start to pick up on things, and while the interface can be a little well, clunky to get information from, it is still well presented, and I did figure out some of the more subtle intricacies of combat, unlike when I was a kid. Combat's the real meat of the game here from what little I've seen so far, and it's not too bad. The best comparison I could actually make would have to be to the combat from Final Fantasy X. It just feels so reminiscent of that game's combat, though unlike Final Fantasy X, there's no turn order meter indicating who moves next, so it can be a little annoying thinking this unit can move next but instead an enemy's moving next, or if you're thinking up a strategy wherein you need to move one unit into a position but the game doesn't tell you how far away they can move until you put the mouse cursor in a certain spot, it can be a little tedious but once you get used to it, it's actually not too bad, and once you figure out that might is equated to the number of units, that's when you can really start to put together some good strategies. So far what little I've seen in this game has been very positive, and I can only expect it to get a bit better the more I play it, though I'm not gonna lie, I am expecting to also be held back a little bit by how clunky the presentation of information can be at times. Just gonna have to keep playing to see how well it really holds up. Hey, thanks for watching! If you like this video, then don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, or check out some of the other first impression videos I've got, or maybe some of the full-blown reviews, or maybe even a movie review or two. Maybe even some random stuff. Go on, check them out.